Our big story at five, a 10-year-old boy with autism has been reunited with his family after being missing for nearly 18 hours. Of course, it's been a harrowing 18 hours for the family. Andre Uncom ran off at around four o'clock yesterday afternoon. The police searched through the night hundreds of members from the community joining in the effort this morning, finding success. Veronica Macias was there for the joyful reunion, Veronica. George and Carol, Andrew has gone missing before, but never for this long. His family says they are just happy and relieved he is safe at home. Andrew Uncombe's family huddles together for a group hug and they fight back tears as news that Andrew was found comes in. I mean, it's just unbelievable and overwhelming and amazing how many people showed up right away. Thousands of people helped in the search late into the night on Sunday and they returned this morning to look into the cornfields where Andrew went missing. Authorities used canine units, drones and thermal imaging to search the area. We are painstakingly going through the marsh and the wooded area with volunteers. Then just before 10, a couple of teens who, like many others, had skipped school to help find the autistic child spotted him. 911, okay, this is emergency. Um, we found, we think we found the, the child that is missing. At Green Country in Salesville Roads, Andrew playfully walked towards them. We just kind of like turn around and we're like, Andrew? And then he turns around and looks at us. You know, I told the officer, I said, can you take a picture? Whoever found him, can you take a picture? So I know for sure you found him. Close to 1 o'clock, he returned home after a quick trip to the hospital. Other than having a few scratches and mosquito bites, his mother says he's doing just fine. Well, Andrew doesn't comprehend the scare his family has caused. I am just overwhelmed. You know, I mean, this is just bring a per humanity, perseverance of all these volunteers that came and want to help out and be very positive. Um, I'm just really grateful. The family is sleeping right now. They have asked for privacy, which is why we're in this park near their home, which is where the command center was earlier. Coming up at 6, hear from his mother and what she says her biggest fear was during the search. Reporting live in Waukesha, Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. Thank you, Veronica. 130 Waukesha school students helped search for Andrew. The superintendent sent out a note that said, in part, this kind of education does not show up on report cards, but we know it is every bit as important.